Okay, today's video is about using a conventional reel or spinning reel for surf fishing. You know, when I first started fishing with my dad, he was a, uh, a spinning reel fisherman, and then as he fished a little longer, he realized from some of the pros out there that you're going to get more distance with a conventional reel. And I truly believe that. I truly believe if you're looking for total distance, you need a conventional reel. But also remember, there's some caveats to, you know, both choices, conventional or spinning. Uh, you know, me personally, when I go fishing, I, uh, I am worried about distance, especially the place I'm at. But I also know that just from watching my dad fish, that, uh, you know, even though he had good distance, uh, if he had a nice, smooth, predictable cast uh, and had his reel tweaked just right. And if he didn't, you know, let's say he just had that reel out of adjustment or snapped that surf rod on the cast at the last minute, um, you know, what he's going to get is something like this. He's going to get a, a bird's nest. Now, I have never, ever seen any fisherman with a conventional reel not get one. If I'm fishing a beach for six or eight hours and I got a, even a pro next to me, he's probably going to get a bird's nest. Or if he doesn't, he's really making the cast so smooth that I don't believe he's getting the distance that's promised with conventional reels. So uh, I personally use a spinning reel for a lot of reasons. First of all, I fish to enjoy the ocean and watch the fish I'm reeling in. And if you have a, uh, if you have one of the newer style squalls, there's no line leveler on this thing. You know, there just isn't. You know, the old reels they had them, but the first thing all the pros did was take that off. So. Now you are subject to having to run your finger left and right the entire time you're reeling in if you want a nice level wind, which means you're not getting a very good view of the ocean with your eyeballs on this. Um, maybe that's not a big deal for you conventional reel users. For me, it is. I, I'm out there to see when I'm reeling in and uh, just my opinion on that. So uh, the other... The other reason I like the uh, spinning reels is if you're teaching kids to fish, you know, 10 times easier. They're, if you tried to teach a kid to fish with a conventional reel, the first six times out would be very challenging. And it might be the first 12 times out if your kid doesn't have very uh, good experience with casting a reel. So uh, the other reason I like these pens these long cast is on a conventional spinning reel, when you rotate that handle one revolution, that line winder on that spinning reel is probably going to make a pass from the bottom of the reel to the top or vice versa, wherever it started. So, and with these long cast reels, they've got gearing in here. So now it's going to take you five turns of that handle to get that line to make one pass from the bottom of the top. And you say, okay, so what? Big deal. Well, it is a big deal because when you're casting as hard as you can and that line is flying off a spinning reel, it's oscillating back and forth. And with this reel, it's going to be oscillating back and forth five times less. And what that means is less friction. So less friction means a nice long cast. So... I'm a firm believer in these these uh, spin fishers. They got a bunch of different sizes. I use 13 foot rods, so I go with the uh, V7500. But if you have 12 foot or 10 foot rods, you may want to drop down to the 65 or the 5500. I know they make those both in the long cast, uh, and they have excellent retrieval rates and good handles. Uh, I will say that the spinning reels are heavier, much heavier than a um, conventional reel but you know you you just you know like i say there's pros and cons to both of those reels so you know i the uh and like i say the line leveling bugs me too 
the uh, what I wanted to show you on that oscillation. If you just watch 10 seconds of this video, you're going to see this fellow is going to crank this reel five times to get that to oscillate once. So let's watch this. So anyways, you know, it, it, and it's good technology, you know, you need that. Otherwise, it'd be way too much friction. And keep in mind, too, that when you're using a conventional reel, once you get used to it and you get good at it, um, you're going to have to uh, pay attention to the lines you use a little bit more, too. You know, you can't go with a 20-pound test. You're going to have to go with a lighter test. And uh, and if that's the case, you may want to get a surf rod that's a little bit more nimble, which is good. You know, if you get a real nimble tip, uh, you know, you might get away with a four ounce sinker all the time. So, um, you know, there's a, a lot of pros and cons on all the reels, but I just wanted to give my uh, 50 cents on my my experience with the spinning reels. And the other thing that uh, I've often found with uh, a lot of the articles on preventing, you know, bird's nests on these reels, well, they tell you, oh, add more magnets, or they'll, uh, they'll tell you to adjust the, the knob on the side that provides a little more friction to the reel. Or some of the pros will say, take your finger and just barely touch the side of the reel during the cast. And the other thing you have to remember, too, is, is you, you should clamp down on your, your uh, reel, uh, conventional reel, as soon as the lure hits the water, you'll, you'll get a bird's nest. So all these reasons they tell you to prevent the bird's nest end up with less of a cast. So, so now you, you add that all up together, and maybe the guy uh, with the uh, conventional reel that never gets a bird's nest is only getting 10 more yards instead of... 30 yards or whatever so anyways uh, that's it for this video wanted to give you a, my opinion and i i think for me the uh spinning reel wins for sure if you like uh, this video please subscribe to my pompano brownie channel and hit that reminder bell so you're notified of new videos and also check out these featured channels i have down here uh, go to the fish gun channel check out their new artificial bait they're working on called Pomp Chews and this is a great channel here too, Mad Dog Fishing. If you like someone catching big fish, that is a great channel to watch and he's got a lot of uh, good content on tips and uh, using GoPros as well. So that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. We'll see you next video.